We only prescribed three lifestyle guidelines. Um, again, Gabby has a lot of things figured out. I think for me, the reason I prescribed eating a bit more protein is just because I know her day to day diet and I know that that's something that she needs to prioritize. Um, other than that, her eating is great. She's eating well, so I think just more protein. And then I know she has a tendency of staying up late watching television in bed. Um, and that can sometimes lead to her sleeping in, therefore missing training in the morning because she has to run to work after. So I think the two things we're going to focus on are getting to bed early, getting more protein. And I think right now that's going to be the lowest hanging fruit that we tackle. Um, so that's why I prescribed the two things in my lifestyle guidelines. Other than that, I think she's all right for now. I'm sure there's things that we might notice in the future. Um, and exercises, I'll talk about the main points even though I just talked about it. Um, so she failed scratch tests and she failed the squat test. So things I put in the squat test, she needed a bit more mobility um, in the hips, in the ankles. So I have for some mobility stuff in warm ups. I have like 90 90 rotations, active couch stretch. Let's get the hip flexors nice and nice and lengthened. Um, I also have things like you know rolling up the hip flexors, frog pose. Um, those are all things that are going to help mobilize the hips. What else do we have here for hips? Um, that's it for hips. And I have things like, you know, scapular push ups, shoulder dislocations. Um, I have shoulder dislocations. I have dumbbell internal, external. I have some banded, banded external. She failed her scratch test so those are all going to be addressing the weak unstable scapula um, internal external rotators that should all be covered as well and then another thing I prescribed a lot of single leg and a lot of glute exercises for two reasons one is because her physio said that she has an imbalanced glute so we're going to try to balance up both glutes make sure they're both nice and strong and addressing issues there um, single leg glute bridges there RT split squats um, box squats, making sure she's getting depth, cable kickbacks are all to do with glutes, step ups, fantastic. And then all of my pushing movements, pushing patterns and pulling are all a slow tempo, slow and controlled, looking to stabilize the scapula. We have vertical, horizontal for both a push for both pushing and pulling. Cover all aspects. Um, I got lots of core work in. She needs a strong core overall. And um, Needs it for yoga and that does also loves having a strong core. So I put a little bit of core in each and every day. And then the reason I was prescribing just straight up MAP 10 running is because we're just trying to get her used to what MAP 10 is like as this, these four weeks go on. She's also in the future wants to start training for a marathon. Um, so that is why that MAP 10 work is in there and eventually we'll slowly build, build and build on that. Um, but yeah, I think I address majority, if not all of the things that I seen was wrong. Um, the physio said was wrong that we noticed from her passes and fails, um, weaknesses and strengths. That's why I programmed what I programmed. Um, three days a week, full body resistance. Um, that's just what, because she's, she's just getting into it. Um, I think that's exactly what she needs at the moment. Squat test. I mean, it was a, it was an obvious fail for me. Um, she could not get the depth. Um, she lacks two things. One, she lacks ankle mobility. Two, she lacks uh, lacks is lacking hip mobility in that day. Um, something we had done a leg a leg work quite an intense leg workout two days before, so she was really quite stiff and sore. So she can normally get lower than that. I'll give her credit, but I still think it would be a fail. She's having a hard time keeping her arm, her arms up tall. Um, but I know she has core strength, so that's not the issue. I think really just needs to work on that uh, loosening and mobilizing of the hips and the ankles, and I think. Um, that would be a pass, but for now, fail. We'll address that in the programming. <clears throat> um, and then last but not least, scratch test, fail all around. There's huge differences here from one side to the next. Things that I noticed, um, the left arm were lacking. Um, she has less range, external rotation. You can see some scapular wing when she's reaching back. Um, she has a greater internal rotation on the left arm and then the right arm she has less internal rotation winging there's a bit of a there's a bit of a um, rib flare and she's reaching back there but you can see she's compensating she almost like pulls the head a bit um, I think just I think that could be fixed just you know some single arm pushing and pulling and 
just getting everything a bit more stable as long as a bit stronger and the length and anyway all that jazz we'll go over it later but fail for now um that will be addressed in the program absolutely so that's gonna be opex move body and work that's a wrap um next on we have Next up, just gonna go right into the programming. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just start off with, with, with the long-term plan. So long-term plan, pretty much just on repeat right now, especially where she's not competing for anything. Um, she's sort of just trying to f you know, find that routine. I don't think we need to drill her with intensity yet. I think she needs to build up a nice base first. So we're just gonna go on accumulation, accumulation over and over and over again. You know, I think it's six to eight weeks with maybe a bit of a deload if she's feeling like she needs it. Week deload, rest up. But all in, I think, just right now, um, just sort of build that base. I think I did that the whole way through the 12 months is just accumulation and deload. I personally just think that's, that's all she needs. Um, gonna be running a full body split no need, no sense in breaking that up yet either. Um, but yeah, that's just going to be right on through November to November, accumulation, deloading. Um, there's some intensification in there as the time goes on. I think it's later on in the year. So we got accumulation, deload, accumulation, deload, accumulation. Then we have some intensification coming up in May, bringing the intensity a little bit with a deload. And then accumulation with an intensification and a deload, and then it comes back down. I think eventually, when she's been there long enough, we'll start really crank. We'll start really upping the upping the ante, upping the intensity. But we're just not there yet. It's gonna take some time. <clears throat> That's long term plan for now. Really, don't not much to dive into there, honestly. Um, so next up, we are gonna go with the. Let's just see here. I believe it must be the short-term plan. Yeah, so short-term plan. So what I think is best for Gabriella right now going into the new block, full body training split. We're gonna be going three days a week. She thinks that's what she's able to maintain. And I think just getting in, I don't think she needs to do any more, any more training than that. I think she'll be, she'll have lots to recover from. She'll be plenty sore and anything more than that, just beginning off, I think is probably too much to, too much to handle. Maybe if you're doing four or five sessions and you might find, um, you might find your rate of them being executed diminishes a little bit. And I find that also brings its own battles of, um, motivation when you're not getting this. So yeah, three days a week, going to stick to that for now. Um, one thing that I'm addressing now, um, again, I said it before, I didn't think she failed the lunge test, but physio says one of her glutes are weaker. So that's something that was a big priority for us, especially where she knows down the line, um, she wants to be competing and doing a marathon. So that's something that is a really big priority, strengthening that glute. And he says that the knee, the bit of knee pain and hip pain will go away when that's, when that glute strengthening. So. Um, I've addressed that. I'm just trying to pull it up here. What have we got? All right, so four week cycle, three days a week full body training split. Main focus is here, you know, stabilizing scapula, increasing mobility in the ankles and the hips. Um, looking to build some routine over this four week period, looking to get a bit stronger, all things that are naturally gonna occur if we can just stick to the plan. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna say the two things, the two fails we had, we had the squat and we had the scratch test and I think sorry that's what was here um, you can see first things first you know I'm addressing the glute strength I got single leg glute bridges in there RNT split squats those are all gonna be fantastic for the glute strength um, in terms of 
making sure she's getting that depth in the squat. As you've seen, she wasn't getting very low. Added box squats in there, making sure she's hitting that 90 degree. That's a minimum. Um, I have the seated dumbbell external rotations in there. Um, that's going to address some of that uh, that limiting external internal rotation. Going to strengthen those up a bit. Fantastic. Um, you know, I, we've got the pushing, we've got the pulling, slow, controlled tempo here, looking to really just kind of stabilize and um, strengthen scapula. Um, and then I pretty much put core in every every session, just a little bit. She loves core. She wants to have a strong core. Um, she needs it for yoga, so that's always something I'm going to put in. Um, and then day one, just finishing up, as I said, future marathon. Map 10, I just told her incline, get that get that treadmill on the incline and just walk at a comfortable pace that she feels like she could walk at all day. And just you know slowly start to kind of internalize and see what this feels like and just take note. <clears throat> all right, that's day one. So we've got pushing, we've got pulling, we've got the glute strength, we've got addressing the um, internal external rotation issues. That's fantastic. Day two, um, got the box squats for the depth. You got the single leg cable kickbacks again, focusing on that glute strength. And then we're now gonna go to a vertical pressing, so a seated, a seated dumbbell for our push. And then we have a seated cable row. Sorry, I think I said that backwards. Anyway, we got the pushing, we got the pulling. Again, slow, controlled reps. Um, and then you're going to get some of that hamstring work in as well, along with a little bit of core. Fantastic. No cardio on this day. Just going to get a little bit of a stretch in. Um, again, focusing on that unstable scapula here, focusing on getting some of that range in the squats. Great. Adjusting all the issues that we were seeing. I also put in, where is it? I put in some glute activation exercises in the warm up. I put in some some loose, some some hip mobilizing, like the frog pose, rolling the hip flexors, things that are gonna help her also get into that deeper squat. So a little bit of mobilization in there as well. Again, addressing the failed squat test. <clears throat> and then on the Friday, we are going in with, we got single leg step ups. Again, single leg, it's a single leg um, pattern, lunging pattern, also assisting with the glute strength, getting a nice stretch in that, in that in that step up position. We got push ups, we got leg press machine, we got pull ups, we got the push pull accounted for again, full body split. We are now introducing that banded internal rotation. Again, focusing on that failed, um, focusing on that failed scratch test. And then just finishing off with a little bit of core and then again hitting that map 10. Now just looking to increase the time frame, add one more round on. I believe we had, five, yeah, we're gonna go 15 minutes, map 10. And then the next time we're just gonna increase two and a half minutes on there. Increase bit by bit, week by week, slowly build the base up, get her learning exactly what that map 10 feels like. And honestly, I'm just gonna keep these exercises. We're gonna stay the exact same over the four weeks. I want her to get comfortable with these exercises. I want her to slowly, um, when she's comfortable to start adding a little bit more resistance and bring a little bit more intensity with that when she when she goes and she learns what her body is capable of obviously new movements um, I'm gonna be learning a lot um, yeah so I think that's majority of my short-term plan I mean I cover all of the weaknesses I think so adjusting we have some we have some some hip mobility in the in the warm ups, we got 90 90 rotations, we got some hip flexor work, the active couch stretch, um, we got glute activations for the weaker glutes, all that's addressed. We have her shoulder addressed as well. And I think the next thing, I think, I think it's just starting to build her routine. Um, but yeah, so that's just going to be me running through my short term plan. Um, hope that covers it. To me, I think I, I hit everything that I was supposed to hit. Map 10, this is the weaknesses that she needed to address. Um, and yeah, hope I covered it.